Privateering? Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Douse the flames! Get in there, you mongrel! Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Assassin's Creed with the Gasbeard. We're on the starter island, we're about to go down to the beach and get ourselves a boat. First of all, we've got to climb that tree to where that eagle is. Actually looks more like a hawk th than an eagle. And do the synchronization with the viewpoint. So, let's get that done. And we've got a warning that we're in a restricted area, so let's do the synchronization first. There we are. Let's see what the map's revealed. Right, so we've got this chest below us. There's a monkey behind us, which we're not going to be able to get with just swords. Um, we need pistols for that. There's um, a fragment there, there's a chest down here, so two chests, there's a map on the beach, probably a corpse. Well, let's get these done. We'll mark that chest, because that's the first thing we're going to have to do. And to get to it, we're going to have to jump into that pond. Looks like it is in that cave behind the waterfall. Yep, there we go. Right, now before we go any further, let's mark our next target, which will be that chest. Right, so we've got to free that merchant and his crew, which means we're probably going to have to kill all these British soldiers. Give me one reason I shouldn't vent your skull. Take my sugar! Take anything you like! Chest is over there, okay. Now, this is going to be tricky because we're going to have to take these guys out one at a time without the other ones actually seeing us. This one that keeps patrolling up closest to us. Okay, yeah, stalking zones. Dense vegetation can be used as stalking zones. They allow you to hide and move undetected. Use them to approach targets stealthily. Take my sugar! Take Weep. anything you like! How do we whistle? E. There we go. Come on in here, mate. In here. Oh, shit! This is not what I wanted. Get into the bushes. This is not how I wanted to do it. I wanted to do it stealthy. And we're dead. We're right on the edge of dead. We're not going to survive. Yeah, I thought so. Right, I messed that up because I jumped out past the guy. Um, I was wanting to grab him and drag him into the bushes. So, we need to jump off that thing. Oh, hang on. Are we... Where are we? 
Yeah, we need to jump off that. That school will do me just fine. So we jump down to here. We go out onto this point here. Wait for that soldier to turn away and then we'll jump off. Yeah, we know about that. We've been through this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to move a bit further back. That's the way I wanted to do it. We'll loot him. 14 reals, no ammunition. Damn it. Right, now, while that guy's there, we're going to move around here a bit. Well, while he's not looking, we'll step across here. Wait for him to come back. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. Oh, which way is he going? Come back here, you. Come on, into the bushes. There we go. Loot him. He's still got no ammunition. Right, now that guy down there on the right, between us and the boat, is the next one that we want to get. Need to look at his patrol route. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. Oh, and of course he's going up that side now. Right, come on, guy. Over here. Come on. Ah, I'll pay you. Anything you like. Come on, in you come. In you come. That's it. Oh god. Oh god. And he's still got no ammunition. Now, those next ones are going to be a bit more tricky. What we have to try and do is get that musket man first. Come on, move. And at the moment we're outside of their trigger range, so let's work our way round to him. We're too far away for the whistle to work. Move in a little bit. Take my sugar. Take anything you like. Yeah, that got his attention. Good. Come on. Ah, I'll pay you. Anything you like. We got only got reals off him. We didn't get ammunition. That's not good. Now, can we, oh God. Oh God. can we get one of the, those to come across? No. Um, I may have to Take rush these sugar. guys. Take anything you like. The one on the left has got a um, pistol in his hand. Um, if I get round to that where that turtle is, can I get the one nearest the tree to come after me? Oh. Let's... Aha. Uh -huh. That's interesting. He spotted me. No, you don't. Oh, God. Oh, God. That worked well. Wasn't what was planned, but it worked. <laughs> Take my sugar. Take anything you like. So none of them had any ammunition on them. Right, let's free this guy. By God's grace, sir, you saved me. 
a profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? Yes. You have an uh, uncommon way of handling yourself. Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. All things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? <laughs> right, reach the ship's wheel, but before we do that, we want to get Backing that map. Boat, I'm afraid we'll have to swim to my ship. Hardly the worst thing to happen. Let's get that treasure map. Find treasure maps on Explorer's Cadavers. They will lead you to a specific place on an island. Dig there and you might find money or plans to upgrade your ship. Use the middle mouse wheel or press 9 to select the map and press F to open them. The coordinates will lead you to the location and the image will help you finding the right spot. The feature is also accessible from the second screen. Okay. Um... 179593. I have a suspicion that may be somewhere that we've just been. Let's just go back. 179593. Just look at the map. Where are we? We are at 179593. So, if we go back up the beach. And into that cave, we may find the the treasure chest in here. See, nothing visible. So if we press nine and F to open it. Oh, we've got another one there. Um, there it is. It's right in right in the back corner, according to this. So we have to look around until we get a dig prompt. Ah, there we are. E, dig. And what have we got in this one? 1500 reals. Okay. So how are we doing on money? Let's have a look. Um... That's not what I wanted. That's what I wanted. Right, let's have a look. We are now at 6,000 reals. And if we look at upgrades available, particularly sword sets, um, British cutlasses are 800. They're a, an upgrade of one point on each of the three attributes over here. Um, those are... Those give us more speed. Privateers Cutlass give us more speed and damage as well as a better combo power. They're six and a half thousand. We can't afford them. Can't afford the British Colonials either. But these, when we get to a shop, these British Cutlasses for 800 reals would be a good upgrade from the swords that we've got. Uh, Pirate Scimitars, they're 10,000. You can see, I mean, our ultimate aim is those officers' rabies, and then we can move on to more specialist ones when we've got some big money. Um, we also need pistols. 
What sort of money are the pistols? Um, common flintlocks. Those are 50 reals. Pirate blunderbuss, 800. Standard wheel lock, which gives us a long range, which is good for shooting the monkeys and other animals, as well as for shooting crewmen during a ship to ship battle. Those are 2,500. So we've got to balance whatever reals we end up in Havana uh, with for getting both pistols and swords. Right, let's get back to the animation. We've still got one chest down here to get. And we've got that Animus Fragment to get as well. There's the chest. And that's just over 400 reals worth of loot. Now, that Animus Fragment, it's up there. So we're going to have to go back up the cliff. Somehow jump off. Um, yeah, there's a, one of the piles of dead leaves here for jumping into. We've got to find the jumping off point up there, though. Also got to find a way to get back up. And I suspect it's up here. Alright, where's the next one up? That's probably that climbing pole there. Oops. <laughs> Straight past it. There we are. Are we above the, the Animus Fragment? Or is it above us? Um, we're in the wrong place. We need to get across that side. So we need to use this pole. No, use the pole. Come on, Edward. <coughs> Up you go. Come on. There we go. Right. Go along here. Chase those crows out of the way. Now, I want to get down there without... There we are. That did it. Not a very elegant solution, but it did it. So, do our jump. There we go. Right, so we cleared out, apart from the monkeys and the jaguars, we cleaned out everything on the island. Let's just have a look at progress before we leave the island. Progress tracker. Um, Edward has found us he's survive against all odds. Memory sink 0%. Oh. Um, so how do we sink the memory? Oh, here we go. Um... Hmm. I would have thought that we've done a hundred percent on that. It normally gives you a it normally gives you a percentage of progress. Reach the ship's wheel. Maybe it will save at that point. Right. Okay. So. Like I said, apart from the monkeys, monkeys and the jaguar, we've done everything we can on this island. It's not worth attacking the turtles, you don't get anything from them. So let's go for the ship's wheel. One last look at the map, make sure there's nothing else on there. No, there's just the jaguar and the monkeys and the pigs. And they're optionals because they provide you the skins for upgrading your outfit. And one tip is, you see the boarding steps halfway down the hull of the ship. They make it easier to get on board any ship. Right, reach the ship's wheel. There we are. Take the wheel. Welcome aboard, Duncan. New She's object. A schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Right. Let's strike to full, shall we? Sail out of the bay. Speed up with W. Two two stages of sails: short sail and full sail. Ah, there's a tug of the wind at my hair. Ah, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean, the raw stink of of possibility. 
That's a top way of seeing it, mate. And if you look at top left of screen, you can see I'm just using short sail at the moment. While we navigate our way out of here, we're in close waters, so we don't want to be sailing onto the rocks and wrecking the ship. Now, now we can open it up and those sailors were quite animated by the idea of pirates roaming these waters is it a real danger do you suppose a possibility but most pirates stalk the windward passage between cuba and hispaniola oh i see yes that is a bustling strait but i shouldn't worry about being waylaid by pirates truth be told my ship is small, and I have nothing of immense value. Sugar cane, seals, molasses, rum, that sort of thing. <laughs> There's not a pirate living who turned his back on a keg of rum. Oh, yes. Yes, I suppose that's true. And by raising and lowering between full and half sail, you can control your turn speed. Uh, half sail lets you turn quicker, which lets you get out of tight corners. The ships are quite heavy to steer when they're under full sail. You have to begin turning much earlier than you actually want to turn and keep turning later than you think you need to. And they do handle quite realistically considering the limitations of the game and that it was uh, that it's really an arcade level simulator um, the sailing works very very well you're a natural sailor Duncan I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago two years before the mast as a privateer dash my buttons your life seems a grand one if I may say so full of adventure how marvelous I've seen my share of strangeness, I. Right, so that's us clear of the island. And we should be able to set sail for Havana any moment now. Fantastic work. Very promising. Hey. We're not saving the memory. I think this is where we dodge back to the modern day. Right. Easy now. There you go. Welcome back. Well, your numbers look good. Now let's make sure we can break your brain, all right? I need you to move your head and look at these lights just here. Look up. That's it. Down. So far, so good. Let's get you up. So, welcome to the Sample 17 project. Before you get started, you're gonna need this. There you go. Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hello, bonjour. C'est bon? It works? All right. Let's take a walk. Your file says you've done some memory research before, but not to this extent, which is surprising. You're very good. The data streams are very stable. Impressive, right? This building is barely six months old, but Abstergo Entertainment has been a studio for a few years, since 2010. Yep, very impressive. Maybe you saw Liberation? That was our first title powered by Animus Tech. That was just the tip of the iceberg. Soon, we'll be unveiling commercial Animus servers for the whole world to enjoy. They'll offer passive experiences, of course. Edited versions of real history. But only the exciting parts. And we think we found the perfect subject for our first full-length virtual feature. Caribbean Pirates. So that's your gig. 
It'll just take a minute, okay? Take all the time you want. Well, thank you, Nancy. Bon journée. C'est bon. C'était prêt. Magnifique. Merci. This is for you. The primary tool of our trade. Your communicator. Power it up and give it a look. It's pretty slick. Um. You might have noticed that security seems a little light around here. That's because your communicator is your key to getting around. So, in case you were wondering what's going on there, um, we are being put into a neural simulator to activate the main adventure story uh, by this company, Abstergo, that we work for. And the idea is that we take over the memories of somebody from history and we play them out and they then turn them into a video game. Um, so... Let's follow her, see where she's taking us. And these modern day interludes occur. See that flashing wireless signal? It means you're hooked up to the elevator. I'll let you do the honors. We're headed up to the Sample 17 studio, second floor. Um, the, these modern day interludes appear occasionally throughout the game. You ready? And have a storyline of their own. And you can play out the storyline in the modern day ah, as, as well as the main game. Our CCO, I'll introduce you. Bonjour. Salut, Mélanie. Ça va bien? Well, thanks. Have you met our new hire? Just started today. I haven't. Bonjour. What project? Sample 17, the Kenway line. Hayden, Connor... Edward, the pirate. Ah, ar, yar, matey. <laughs> what a dickhead. <laughs> Very exciting. Welcome aboard. Uh, Melanie, can we talk in your office for a minute? Just let me get this one settled and I'll see you in five minutes. C'est bon. Nice to meet you. So, this is the Sample 17 floor. We're diving into the memories of one very generous donor, Desmond Miles. We're pulling all the best stuff from his DNA. And hopefully one day, we can forge some fantastic experiences from what we find in there. This pair of legs is John, one of the wizards in IT. He's just fixing something for you. Not fixing, calibrating. Calibrating, right. So here we are, your very own Animus workstation. This is all yours, so sit back, relax, and find us some good footage. If you need any hints or tips, the Animus is loaded with tutorial programs, so you'll have no problems. And I'll check in on you later. Happy pirating. Right. Okay, so that puts us then back to the game. Welcome to Animus Omega, Abstergo Entertainment's proprietary ancestral memory research tool. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns about how to operate your Animus console, Please contact your project supervisor, Melanie LeMay. You have been registered as part of the Sample 17 project. Your primary research target is Edward James Kenway, born March 10, 1693, Swansea, Wales. Calibrations complete. All signs normal. All systems optimal. Extra neurotransmitters activated. So I'm guessing this is Havana, and it's put us straight there. Uh, lively Havana. I've been here once before. It was a truly awful pleasure. Someone you know. 
No, no, no. Just putting on a friendly face. I shouldn't want to be mistaken for a pirate again. Right. Flash rogue like yourself must be cautious. Yeah. Mad to think Spain and England were at war two years ago, isn't it? Here I am, bartering with Spaniards like they were my cousins. Nothing wrong, Duncan. No, it's nothing. Sand in my hampers. So where's the best squad in town? I'm dying for a quick kip. Or a siesta, should I say. Um, I'm just headed to uh, a public house now to meet some merchants. I could, I could show you the way. Well, lead on. I hope you'll tarry a bit while I conduct my meeting. And I'm going to leave it there. Right, that's the end of today's episode. We'll be back next week with the next one as we get ourselves involved with the Havana part of the quest. Hope you've enjoyed it. Leave any uh, observations, hints, tips, queries, questions, etc. down below in the comments. Please do comment. I love reading them all. Uh, click like if you've enjoyed the video and click follow if you think that you're going to stick with me through this, the playthrough of Assassin's Creed Black Flag. I'm the Gazbeard and I thank you for being here. I'll see you next week. From me as always, it's not goodbye, it's just bye for now.